Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is something that a lot of you guys have been requesting. What is on my iPhone? I'm not gonna go through all the apps that are on here because we'd be here all day. So many of the apps that are on here are pointless. I don't even use, but I forget to delete them. So we're gonna go through eight of my top apps that I use on a daily basis. The first app that I'm gonna talk about is when we go into Insta stuff, it's called Color Tone. Now for me, I'm always on the go. I might be traveling on holiday and say I take a picture at a pool party and I want to edit it there and then to upload. I found I was having such problems because I used to use a program, da -da -da, can I get my words out? Program called Lightroom and you have to really use it on a laptop. Now I'm not gonna be that guy that goes to a pool party in Marbella carrying around my laptop with me because knowing me, it will get stolen. That is what I'm like. So, Colour Tone is the perfect on-the-go app to edit your pictures. So I'm going to go into the app now. Excuse the little cheeky pictures that are at the top there. Obviously editing my body. Not adding in abs, I swear. But if we go on this picture that I took recently and press edit, you can see the picture there. Now, it was an actual blogger that created this app to make things a lot easier for us. And she kind of went into what sort of filters people actually liked, rather than the programs like the SEO, where you can add filters, but they kind of didn't look that real or great. These ones actually are fitted to what the blogger thought worked in the industry. So if I click on here, you've got Bora Bora, Fiji, Seychelles. So you can go on a different app. For instance, I quite like Seychelles. You can click on it and take the intensity down. So it's not as harsh of filter, you can take the volume of it down. Now obviously the reason for this as well is if you want all your pictures on your page to look like the same filter, you can just use the same filter on your phone. So you know exactly what it's called and you can do this on the go. So it's as easy as that and that was called Colour Tone. So that is my kind of first stop that I take on editing my pictures. The next stop and the second app that I'm going to include in today's video is U-N-U-M. Now, actually no, let's take a step back. Let's go to Snapseed first. Let's edit the picture, then we'll go to U-N-U-M. So Snapseed for me is my next stop. As you can see, the picture is now over onto this app. And here we can just add a little bit more detail into getting that picture to the perfect position, ready to post. I hope you're still with me. I know I'm speaking fast, but I don't want the video to be a 20 minute video. So here you can choose, for instance, your brightness. If you want to take the brightness up a little bit, you can do that. If you also want to take the highlights down, if you want to take the shadows up. So you can just play around with this. You can also, if in the background, for instance, if you want to select just an area, so I'm going to select the back, do this. So you're making the area in the back red. If you want to brighten that or darken that, or you can even structure it to bring out the detail of the back. You can select certain area of your as other, certain areas of your picture because there's nothing worse than wanting to only change one bit of the picture, but you have to change it all. So this lets you select certain areas and just change that part. So again, it's just little bits that we can edit in our picture to get it to the perfect position that I want it before I upload onto Instagram. Next is Facetune. Now I used to use Facetune all the time, but that was before I discovered these filters and stuff that actually already kind of edit you in quite a natural way. But on Facetune, girls a lot of the time make their booties bigger and their uh, waists thinner. I personally don't do that because you can if you want to, because there's a thing called reshape so if you look here, girls probably do this with the reshape thing. Oh, look, I'm a size six. Yeah, we're gonna take that off because that is not natural. But on here, what you can do is, for instance, if you've got tired eyes and they're a little bit red, or maybe if you've got one yellow tooth, but you just don't want the world to see that yellow tooth, you can pick the whitening tool and whiten the teeth, whiten the eyes, uh, you can detail certain areas as well. Say for instance, you've got a drink in your hand and you really want people to see that it's the most expensive champagne ever. You can detail the champagne so it'll be standing out a lot more. 
So that's kind of my last stop that I take on my editing journey of an Instagram picture. And the next stop is UMUM. Now here, this is where we can plan out my Instagram. So at the minute, this is what my Instagram looks like. And if I add that picture that we've just literally been looking at, so I'm gonna go into my favorites and it is there. So once we've edited that, if we pop that in, you can see that I think that actually fits okay next to the other pictures. If you wanted to add another picture because you can't decide which one you wanna do first, then you could switch them around if you want to, just to see where that picture is gonna look best before actually uploading it onto your Instagram and making a mistake and being like, Ugh, I wish I didn't upload that now, it looks shit next to that one. You can do it before you upload it on Instagram so you know that it's gonna look so pretty when you upload it. So that's kind of like my Instagram journey of what I do every day. I know it's long-winded, but making it look great is kind of what I want and have to do on a daily basis. Well, I try and make it look as good as I can. I hope you do all like my Instagram. If you don't already follow me on there, there's my account. Come over, say hello. Next, I'm going to talk about Pinterest. If you've not had Pinterest before, it used to be an app that was kind of like Instagram. People followed each other and stuff. I don't know if people still use it for that reason, but I use it for inspiration. If you go onto Pinterest, for me, if I'm looking for a funny caption about sunsets or a nice daily caption to use for my Instagram or a quote, you can go on here and just type in sunset quotes, anything like that, and it will come up with them. Also, as you can see, when you already go on my Pinterest, I got interior inspiration from this app. So when I moved into this new flat, I wanted Scandinavian design throughout the flat. So I just typed in Scandinavian design and it brings up loads of pictures that will give you incredible inspiration to be like, actually, I wanna buy a coffee table like that. I wanna buy some pillows like that. So yeah, it's a great place to come and create kind of a mood board for if you're moving house or even if you're creating a clothing collection or anything like that, it's a great place to get inspiration. Next, let's move out of Insta stuff folder and let's move in to music. Now in this app or in this folder, there's only one app that takes my heart now these days and that is Spotify because I used to have iTunes music, I used to listen to the radio podcasts, but Spotify has everything you need in one place. By the way, this is not sponsored by Spotify. I just love the app. It's great that you only pay a monthly fee that's quite low and you can listen to whatever music you want. And you can even download the albums, albums as well so you don't have to be on Wi-Fi if you're on the underground or on a plane, you can listen. So let's have a little look. It kind of creates these folders for you as well. So. Okay, let's stop that because I'll start raving in a minute. I just love listening to the music. I dance around my flat all day long. So that is Spotify. You may or may have not heard of it before, but if you don't have it, trust me, you should get it. You will never go wrong with it. Okay, the next two apps that we're gonna talk about are in Home Bits. So the first one is Google Home. You may have Alexa, you may have Google Home, and there's probably thousands of, thousands of others that you talk to in your flat as well. I think my neighbours think I'm crazy or they think I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend called Google because I shout at Google because sometimes he just doesn't listen to me. But Google is great. It's something that you can say, hey Google, what's the weather like today? Today in Worley, it'll be raining with a forecast high of 16 and a low of 11. Ah, oh, forgot Currently that Google's... 15 with rain. I forgot that Google's a girl. But um, yeah, you can ask the weather. She told me a bad one today. It is actually raining, but at least she's right. Or you can say, I'm not gonna do it because Spotify will come on again. You can ask Google to play music. Or you can even ask Google, because I have a program called Philips Hue, which is an app that I have in here, as you can see. And I have strips of lights in my kitchen. I have them in my living room in a bulb. I have them in my bedroom because there's nothing worse than sitting watching TV or getting into bed and having to get back up to turn a switch of your lights off. So what Philips Hue will do, I'll give you an example from the kitchen, you can turn the kitchen lights on, you can make them, let's click into it, make them blue, make them green, I don't know how much of the colour you can see of this, make them yellow. So yeah, I have this around the flat, 
just because I find it really cool that I can create a different mood. Say I'm watching a scary movie, I might put them to red. Say I'm watching a film about water, I might put them to blue. So you can just set a scene in the room, which is great. So that's Philips Hue and Google Home. And the Google Home, as I said, you can control Spotify, you can control, I believe you can control your heating as well. I haven't really gone that much into detail, um, but it is a great app to look into if you can't be bothered to do anything yourself in your flat. It, Google may even tidy your flat for you. It doesn't do that, just to let you know. Um, and the last app I'm going to talk about is something, again, when I moved into this flat on my own, this app has taken my heart and my time, Netflix. Netflix is something awesome. I know a lot of people go, well, I just stream stuff online, and we won't admit to doing that. Um, but Netflix is great because you can now download stuff while, again, you're on the plane. I know there's these like two, three hour flights where you think I can make it just listening to music and having a cheese sandwich and obviously a bottle of champagne, a glass of wine or a cup of tea depending on what time of the morning it is. But Netflix, you can download series, you can download movies while you're on the go. Again, for me, I travel into London kind of an hour twice a week. So I just download a series and it gives me something to do rather than just sitting there twiddling my fingers looking into the sky. So. Netflix is a great app and again it costs you every month but it's super cheap and if you've got friends or family that want to download Netflix as well you can kind of pay that money together because I believe two of you or three of you can actually sign into the same account paying the same money so yeah you should definitely 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 three definitely is there look into getting Netflix if you haven't checked it out already and they have lots of Netflix original films and series as well things that you'll only get to see if you have Netflix, like 13 Reasons Why, like Stranger Things, all the shows are huge at the moment, they're all from Netflix. So yeah, go and check it out. So that is today's video. I hope those eight apps did help you. I'm gonna link all of them down in the description box below. And if you have any questions about any of the apps that I've mentioned, please drop me a comment in the comments box below and I will get back to you all. If you are a new person watching, Thanks for watching, I hope you don't think I'm too crazy. Please go and subscribe, the button's right there. And if you did like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And guys, I'll be seeing you shortly on my next video. Take care.